Okay, so you personally, the worst, uh -huh. the worst situation with the police. Tell me about it. I mean, when I got chased, I had a, a gun on me. Something just happened in the area. I had a gun on me, and police chased me, and they just beat me up in the back seat, beat me up in the precinct. Uh, okay, a little so they threw you in the back seat. Yeah. Were you handcuffed? Of course. So your but hands are behind your me, back. When they caught me, you know they rough you up. Well, batons. Not with their hands, feet, whatever. I can't remember. It's just you know. Okay, so they beat you. You up. just used to. You, that was just something like. We, it's not like we, we lived in an area where we don't see police. We see police every day. They know who we was, probably first name, everything. Like, yo, or know your code name or whatever it is. So we used to them harassing us, throwing us against the wall. Yo, try to see, check, check stashes. I don't want to blow up any stashes, but check stashes. Pull dudes pants down, embarrass dudes, rough dudes up. That was like everyday process on the block. It was just another day at the office. And I don't glorify it. I'm just telling you how it was. So police, I think with the interaction with police, stuff been happening. It's just now there's more cameras where you could see it. Those body cams. But come now. on, we know what there's, Kanye there's, yeah, people said about. Standing around with, but we yeah. know what Kanye said about George Floyd was some bullshit. You know I'm gonna say that. Right. Come on, we all seen what happened. And rest in peace to George, George Floyd and his family. But you know I don't like to even bring that hurt back up to people's family and stuff like that because I'm yeah. not that type of guy. You know. Well, uh, one thing I noticed. And I think that Matt Hoff even used this at the beginning of his interview. Because it's funny, right? When the two of you did the interview, right. me and Math talked afterwards. Right. And he said, uh, I don't think I'm going to put it out. Yeah, he told me and that. I'm like, he told me that too. Over yeah, I'm like, I'm like, you should. You should put it out. And you know what I told him? I said it's going to be one of the best interviews you ever have. And it's yeah. going to do one of the, the best numbers. Yeah. Because it, it was raw. Now, when you look at the show, you see dudes arguing on there. You see it's raw. You see his actual emotion in there. Hein again and Esco left. I don't, I'm not, everybody's like in my comments, yeah, yo, it was because of you. I'm like, it ain't because of me. But yeah, I, th you that know, was a little weird I, when I, I heard I that. I love that interview and I love that, you know, how for let me on this platform because his platform is growing. Shout out to him. And it's, it's a big platform as well as like being on your platform. You know, I feel like he's growing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, the interview went worldwide. You know, when I go overseas, Vlad interview, Hoffa interview. So shout out to him and his platform. But I felt like um, it was a, it, it was just, I felt like we was in the hood. Well, you were in the hood. I felt we was drinking at Branson. <laughs> you were, I, you yeah, were I mean, you know, he, he shoots no, but what I'm a, saying a barbershop like, in Harlem. Yeah, we in a barbershop, we in Harlem. So it felt like we was in the hood. Sometimes I felt like bigger, felt like I'm glorified. Nah, I'm not. Everybody know I'm one of the humblest ones out of uh, G-Unit. So I'm just telling you my experiences, like me going to Greece or me me uh, me going to Switzerland or somewhere like that, that I never thought that I'd have the chance to leave the block. So I feel like, yo, thank God that he gave me a chance to see other places in the world. Well, I just want you to see the other places through me to realize that the block is bigger than the world. And some people be like, yo, can we afford these trips? You can. All you have to do is book it ahead of time. Because when a promoter books, us overseas, they book the tickets way ahead of time, so everything is a little bit cheaper. You might not be in a top star hotel, you might be in a good hotel, but it's cool, you're in Greece, you're in Athens, you just booked it ahead of time, so it's affordable.